Why aren't you using your thumb? It makes me sound way better than I actually am. Let me show you how. Follow me. Why is the thumb so important? Because it frees up your other fingers to do things, right? It's like adding a bass note. So look at this. Let's play the A chord. That's how they taught you in music school, right? That's how they taught you when you're uh, at lessons, right? It's very unnatural for me. Uh, I started playing my dad's guitar when I was like in seventh or eighth grade, and it was so big I couldn't actually get around it, and my hand wasn't very comfortable. He said, this is how Hendrix would play it. See that? Now, it's a little bit different. Your wrist goes from here underneath to here right? It's a way different position, right? You need way different position, right? It changes a lot of things, right? It changes the way you would hold a guitar, but you kind of have to hold it straight on, like right at right angle from your elbow. I'm not flexing. Um, but it opens up so many things. So before when I was doing this, what are my options here with my notes? I can use my pinky to do stuff, right? but that also means that I'm accidentally barring a seven there. So if I don't want that seven, I have to mute it with my uh, ring finger. So if I'm doing a add six, I could potentially bar those two, but you risk muting the G string. See, like you run into space problems and also like just functional problems with the way your fingers work, right? So. But now, let's try that. Man, that's hard for me, clearly. I like never play like that anymore. And I never have to worry about barring that seventh. So, that's only one thing, but really where the magic happens is when you bar or you have a note, a bass note, where the magic happens is when you have a bass note and then you Now that it would normally be like this, right? Uh, wait, what would it be? I don't even know how I would do that. Uh, okay. Oh my God, it's so hard. Okay. That's how I would have to do that. But instead, that's so easy and it's so comfortable. And that's naturally where a hand would go. If you're, you know, you're shaking someone's hand, that's literally what it's going. It's going right there. I mean, look at how different that is. Look at how easy that is. opens up so many different things, right? There are drawbacks to using your thumb. In case you couldn't tell from the beginning, it's really hard for me. My pinky is not nearly as adept as it should be because I've relegated that to my ring finger, right? Like most guitars. You're gonna have to practice that because you're not gonna get any work on your pinky once you start doing this. you're going like so in the major key a great lick to start off with is right the Hendrix one
doing it without your thumb is this. Uh, I can't even do it. <laughs> But you get the idea, right? I mean, I sound like a different guitarist, and I'm not as good as my thumb makes me sound like I am. So start using your thumb, and you'll be able to play better than you normally would. Start using your whole hands. I mean, this is what separates us from the animals. Most animals don't have an opposable thumb. Oh, squirrels? Don't squirrels have opposable thumbs? Thanks again for coming by. I hope this was helpful. Hit me up for other things that you want to learn that you've seen me do or that you think I would be able to do or maybe that I don't do that I should do. We're closing in on a thousand subscribers. A thousand. That's a lot of people. I'm just going to keep doing videos of stuff that I think is interesting and cool. And I hope that you keep watching it. I appreciate you stopping by. Have a great week and I'll see you on the internet. Woo! <laughs>